Watch you guys got another video on how to remove BitLocker encryption on Windows 10. Now this is a pretty easy thing to do. So I'll make a quick video showing you. This was a requested video by someone on my email. Uh, so you can see here, you will have your BitLocker encryption on here. There'll be a padlock here, which tells you the drive is encrypted. And uh, I'll show you basically how easy to remove uh, the encryption on here. So first off, uh, you can go down to the start button, right click and go PowerShell with admin. This will open up the PowerShell window. What you need to do here is check the status on it. You can also check that by typing in this command here, manage dash BDE space dash status. Then press enter. And once you've pressed enter, it will tell you the status of the drives on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see here, we can see that drive F is fully encrypted. And to remove that encryption, I'll show you how to do it. So protection is on for drive F. So let's do our next command to remove the actual encryption for that drive here. So type in there, disable dash bitlocker space forward slash mount point then space, then inverted commas with a drive letter in between them. And this is the drive letter that you're going to need to put in for your drive that is fully encrypted. And this will then disable the BitLocker on that drive. So just type that out as it is and then change the letter F to the drive letter of your choice. So I'll put that in there and push enter. And what we'll see once we push enter is that the drive will then be disabled. So let's go ahead and push enter. So now we should see some information come up on the screen, which tells us the mount point was F, decryption is in progress, and the protection status is now off, which tells us that the drive has now been fully decrypted and is now off. So let's take a look at the actual drive itself, and you should see that the actual encryption padlock has now been removed here. And that means you've just removed it. It's that simple. Now, there is easier ways to go about turning this off as well. And I'll show you how to do that right now. You can do that inside control panel. So let me go ahead and show you here. So all you need to do here is go to control panel. Open up control panel and basically go to system and security. Click on this one here. And this will give you the link for BitLocker drive encryption. So you can click on BitLocker Drive Encryption, go to Manage BitLocker, click on here. And then once you're inside here, Remove Data Drives, BitLocker Go To, and you should see your drive. Use the drop down arrow, and this gives you access to all of the things that you will want to use. So we're looking for Turn Off BitLocker, click on that, and then click uh, Turn Off BitLocker. And this will start to decrypt the drive. Now close this and you can see the drive is now physically turned off. We can now go back to our Explorer here and see the drive has the padlock removed and you can enter the drive and then get access to the data. So let me quickly encrypt the drive again and show you the right click manage BitLocker. And you can also change BitLocker password from there as well. But it does give you access to the manage BitLocker area where you'll be able to then turn off BitLocker from this location as well if you wanted to do that from here. So as you can see, pretty straightforward and easy to do. Um, but basically, you can also do this in command prompt as well, where you can turn off a bit locker as well. I mean, right clicking and just hitting manage bit locker is really simple. And then just turning it off, which would then decrypt the drive and give you access to all the information on that drive. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. So I hope this one helps you out and answers your question. Very simple and easy to do. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are going up on the screen right now. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.